Buying gifts is a daunting task in its own right, but you can find yourself easily overspending and racking up debt if you're not careful. People try to justify overspending during the holiday period, but I'm here to bring you back down to earth and encourage you to put a plan in action and stick to it to make sure that you don't get stressed looking at your bank account after the holiday season passes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and in today's video, I'm going over a few tips I use for the holiday season to avoid overspending or spending all of my money on gifts. The first way that I plan ahead for purchasing gifts for the holiday season is by putting a percentage of my wage away into a specific bank account for this intended purpose so that when it comes to crunch time, I don't feel overwhelmed and stressed because I've already built up a, let's call it a kitty, which I can use to purchase gifts and not feel guilty about spending that money. Just as an example, if you were to put away $25 a week, you would save about $1,300 a year specifically for that that intention of purchasing gifts. You could do this by looking at what your banks and credit unions offer to support you on your endeavor to save this type of money without having the temptation of dipping into those accounts. These accounts are typically free and it's a great incentive offered by credit unions and banks to make sure that you don't actually have access to them until the purchasing time for those holiday actually come into fruition. So they limit you from being able to spend from them until you actually get to that point where it's time to buy those presents. And I think that you are the person that is allowed to set that limit, basically giving yourself some time to build up that money. Obviously, you could just have a general account if you're pretty disciplined with money for that intended purpose as well. Then all you really need to do is stick to this budget and not overspend. And I know that it's easier said than done, but I'm here to give you that advice. I'm here to give you that encouragement. And that's what I encourage you to do is stick to your plan. Having that hard limit in place will make sure that you don't end up racking up debt that you cannot afford to repay. I do know some people who really do get into hot water with their Christmas spending. I'm using Christmas as an example. It can be applied to any holiday season realistically, but I do know some people who fall into that trap of overspending and definitely blowing out their limits and it does get them into hot water. It puts them in a position that they weren't really planning on being in, and then they need to make adjustments for however long to make sure that they catch back up. Now, another useful tip, which is really kind of not money related in this instance, is that some companies have in place a service which basically aids you in your shopping. Now, a good example of this is a makeup store here in South Australia. I know for a fact that they do this because I know someone who used to work there where I wanted to go and purchase something for my girlfriend as a gift, but I wasn't really sure on what I was doing. And they had a service in place where you could walk in and they would basically one-on-one -on -one walk with you and ask you relevant questions and then pick out products which would be suitable for your needs or for the specific type of gift you were looking for. And I found that really welcoming, really a really fantastic experience as well because I'm no expert in makeup. I didn't really know what I was doing. And they offered a service which basically resolved my issue and allowed me to buy what I needed, make sure that it was a good quality gift for the person I was buying it for. And it was an enjoyable process. So again, some companies will go up above and beyond to please their customer base and you being the customer get to experience and enjoy that component of shopping. So look out for those types of services offered by companies during the holiday seasons. Now this one is a pretty sneaky one and I'm sure that lots of people use this but I find that it's really useful for someone like me. I have a bit of a goldfish memory. I'm not the best with purchasing gifts. However, when people in my life like family and friends say that they really want something that is very specific, I will pull out my phone immediately, open my notes and write it down. I'll create a note where I'll come back to it later on and categorize it in lists. Now I've got a few lists in my phone for people that I, like I say, care about and intend to purchase gifts for where they've mentioned something like, oh, I really like this or oh, I really want this. Put it in a list, wrote it down and I've kept it and now I have basically a resource of whenever I need to purchase them a gift, I know specifically something that they want. So I can save up for it. I can go out right and purchase it, no problems. And I have that peace of mind knowing that the gift I'm getting them will be appreciated and enjoyed by them. I also truly believe that in this instance where let's say six months have passed since they said, oh, I really want this item or this gift and you have gone out, bought it, wrapped it, given it to them. When they open that, they're gonna be like, wow, I can't believe that you remembered that I said I wanted this. And you're, it's a real friendship winner in the books of friendship, in the books of relationships. I truly believe that 
remembering something to someone personally when someone remembers what i say from a long time ago from a conversation even if it's not gift related just they remember and they listen to something i said it's the best feeling in the world so i have no doubt in my mind that it's going to be the same with gifts and i do this regularly now all you're really doing is taking a note in your phone in that very moment and you can come back to that at any point how simple is that so it's a very nifty trick it's a very nifty tip and i highly encourage you to use it relating to that previous tip it's kind of pre-planning where you don't necessarily need to write this list specifically for christmas it can be for any type of event that would be suitable to be giving them a gift this can include things like birthdays Easter, Christmas, like I said, any type of holiday that is a gift giving holiday. Realistically, you're just building a database of information that is relevant to that person and you're gonna be nothing but appreciated by them when you give them a gift that they specifically said that they wanted and weren't expecting to receive. Now, finally, as hard as it may be, this is probably your last resort, but definitely one to consider. And that is not buying any gifts at all, across the board for no one so that it's fair and it's unilateral. Realistically, if you cannot afford to pay your rent, pay your bills, put food on the plate, you should not be thinking about purchasing gifts for a holiday period or a holiday season. I know that you may look bad in some of someone else's books, but realistically, they're bad friends if they know that you're struggling and I highly doubt that they would be expecting anything from you and that's not a bad thing. If, if you can't afford it, don't spend the money. Hold off for this year, as many years, however long it takes but financially gifts are probably on the lower end of where your money should be spent depending on your situation right now the world's kind of in a bit of strife where a lot of people are out of work a lot of people really are living paycheck to paycheck you really need to consider if you have the money to be putting towards things like this and i highly encourage you to really consider it and really think about it if you need to actually go out and let's say purchase those gifts in my honest opinion I don't think anyone's going to hate you for it and they wouldn't be great friends if they did. So that's the hardest one on the list. That's the hardest tip on the list. It might actually be obvious, but it is one that I needed to say and get out there. So yeah, if you cannot afford it, don't do it. Alternatives to spending money during the holiday season would definitely be offering a gesture or a service to friends, family, or someone you're in a relationship with. Now, this can come in many different factors such as volunteering together or even something as simple as having a movie night or date night together where you, you give each other that time and you use it to bond with each other because that experience is going to be something where you celebrate together. You actually spend the time and you really enjoy it together and it's not gonna break the bank. Ultimately, in my opinion, an experience is definitely worth much more than an actual physical gift and I can't recommend doing something like that enough if you're not in a position to actually go out and purchase gifts the effort that you put into that experience will definitely be much more appreciated than actually spending money on a person, in my opinion anyway. I may be out of touch. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. Like I said earlier, this year is going to be tough for some families, so to remain green in the finance books, finding an alternative to spending money is probably gonna be in your best interest. And it's not a bad thing, it probably will bring you closer together in the end. All of these suggestions aside, I highly encourage you to put together a budget for your holiday season spending for your gifts or for your events that you're planning on carrying out, regardless of if it's on an, a single person basis or as an entirety that you're saving up a lump sum to put towards as many gifts as you can possibly purchase. I think the culture surrounding gift giving has gotten a little bit out of touch these days where people try to go above and beyond and kind of put themselves in positions that they don't wanna be in to try and please others. And I think that that's wrong, but that's my opinion. At the end of the day, the message coming out of this video is to be conscious of your spending, especially as we're approaching Christmas, which is a big spending period throughout the year. If you think that you have better suggestions or a better system for gift buying for the holiday period, please throw them at me, leave them down in the comment section below because I'd love to hear some unique ideas. I think it would be really insightful. Overall, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next one.